laundry room. So this guy is not staying lit. Although it's now it's still there. So yeah, we got no heat call basically, and it's not staying lit. And then it locks out. So it doesn't look like this thing has been serviced in quite some time. Uh, 2017 it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff all cleaned up. And we should be good to go. So here we go. Okay, so we're gonna check um, our microamps DC on my brand new meter that I just got. I got a field piece SC680 video coming soon. Uh, so anyway, we switch it over. If you're using field piece, this is what you want to switch it to. We got one lead on the flame sensor, and we got the other lead uh, in the wire. So power it up, see what we get. We want to get at least uh, 1.7. Yeah, so we got a dirty flame sensor. So we're gonna take it out and get it clean. Yeah, filter is nasty too, so I'm gonna change that. Hopefully I have one. All right, so I didn't have a 16 by 20. I only had 16 by 25, so I just cut it off and then I put the end back on and taped it. So if you're in a pinch, you can modify these if you need to. So this is our flame sensor. It looks like it's also spark igniter. And then Here's the actual sparker, so we're gonna clean both. The way that this is actually welded on, so I had to take off this cross beam to pull out the little burner things here, so I could uh, get the thing, get the igniter and the flame sensor out. And since I got these burners out, I'll go ahead and clean them. Yeah, this thing is just has not been serviced in some time. Yeah, so this is the flame sensor. It doesn't look terrible, but we're gonna clean it anyway. So there's our igniter, nice and clean now. And there's our flame sensor, also nice and clean now. Hold on, focus. Yep. We got it all put back together. Fire it up, see what happens. Oh yeah, much better, look at that. We're gonna let her run for a little bit and see how she does. I want to check the gas pressure too. All right, but we definitely got flame sense now. Well, sometimes it doesn't even look that dirty, but it's enough to prevent it from working. So we're gonna let her run for a bit and make sure she's good, but I think we found our problem. Okay, we're just gonna get some amp draws. Our blower's at 2.16. Reducers at 1.5-ish. Seems a little high. Let's see what our max is for this guy. Yeah, so it's a little high. Uh, it's supposed to be 1.3. It's just a little bit high, but the unit's pretty old, so. Uh, other than that, everything else seems to be fine. I already cleaned the tube. Uh, yeah. And uh, gas pressure, uh, we're gonna check that next. Okay, we got our manometer set up. We're gonna go ahead and check gas pressure. Our gas pressure is ridiculously high, so we need to bring that down. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that down. So we're supposed to be at 3.5. So yeah, so I'm turning it uh, counterclockwise. We want that at 3.5. So I like to get it right below. So usually like 3.45. But yeah, that gas pressure was ridiculously high. Okay, we're at 3.42. So, problem with these uh, job link uh, manometers is there's a slight lag. So when you're doing static pressure, it's okay, but when you're doing stuff like this, it kind of sucks. Because you have to make an adjustment and then wait for a minute. Don't just uh, go in this with tunnel vision and clean the flame sensor and get out and you want to check the whole system. I basically just did a PM on it. Um, and usually you'll find any other issues with it, but we're gonna go ahead and let them know that this is overamping just a little bit. Um, got the burners clean, got the flame sensor, the igniter cleaned, uh, checked all the amp draws, blower's fine, and gas pressure is now set to where it needs to be. And we got a clean filter. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.